Do you sleep well? Yeah. You are followed by a dead person who is dead yeah. in the family. That to work. Oh Jesus. It's from where? Okwa Japenyo. They must call, they must call, they must call. Nava ifane, nava ifane. Nava ifane. Remove it, remove it. Let it come out, let it come out. Oh, breathe well. Your witchcraft, those things that you put in him, the dead spirit that is heavy on him, let it come out, let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out, let it come out. Let it come out. What you put in his body, you vomit what they put in your The poison that they put in your chest. The poison they put in your chest. Let it come out, let it come out. Edinaranga meoto, that delay Pomeva, Ponga, Konja Venduka. My name is Otto, I'm from Omeva. Undina. Umbang or Corolo, Dala Gupashi Paleca or Ehunga Negolo, and the Indapua, Comprofit to Tatifere by Dongo, Mama Figuesha, Yon Longo, Nane, Majenti, Ayo Dulai. I'm having a testimony, just would love to confirm the prophecy that I got from the Prophet of God, Prophet Philip in Dongo, on the 14th of July this year. Kamba Pilaga, Otakulike, Umbang. So, well, the paper in my hand is a confirmation of the prophecy that I would love to testify about. So, when I came at this place, I was having a problem with my chest including my heart that used to be paining always burning yeah. so this sickness began last year around august somewhere there so when the pain gets severe, I've been going to hospital in and out. The examinations have been going on, but to no avail. So this year, on the 1st of July, at around 5 o'clock in the morning, the same problem began again. So it all began with a heart palpitation and then my chest was heavily paining, or it was severely paining that I never experienced, and it also affected my breathing. So this situation led me until I went to hospital, whereby I was admitted in hospital, and I was just being on the assistant of oxygen because I couldn't breathe on my own. So when I went to the hospital, I was on the assistant of oxygen. So this is the picture and evidence that I was admitted in hospital on oxygen, as you can see. Yeah, more if long in the lagalunga, the lagalangone, is in the galega, almost pangalo, and the gafonga to open the way up and up on Gilegapa. So by the grace of God, when I was released from the hospital and the situation was still the same, I took a step of faith to come to this church. 
Upompo lobe tu omwele apange hungane kolo taliti ndiwe ukwete ndashikulwa kanu komepo ya novasa ame ndakala efimbo ya ndikofa ye okwaka hungane kana tangu kucha antika kofa na nokufuda nawa So whereby when I came at this place the man of God gave me a prophecy that he is seeing a spirit of dead people that is following me and he gave me a prophecy that I will be sleeping well so, so I took a prophecy and I believe that everything is going to be well with me. So several times I continue coming to church. The man of God have been praying for me. So hallelujah so that sickness has been tormenting me to an extent that I cannot sleep on, my, on, my, on one side. I use only to sleep on my left side. If I use the other side, I will be in pain. I can use the medications, but they are not helping anything. Brother, after the prayer now from the man of God, are you able to sleep at the side that you could not be able to sleep on? Are you able to sleep on the side that you could not be able to sleep on? Are you able to sleep on the side that you could not be able to sleep on? Are you able to sleep on the side that you could not be able to sleep on? After the prayer, Hallelujah, the your hands for Jesus. Fine. I can sleep on both sides. Hallelujah. Amen. Your word of encouragement. My word of encouragement is taken from the book of Psalm 107 from verse 1. Hallelujah. Clear paint for Jesus. We thank you for a wonderful testimony of healing. Let it be permanent in Jesus' name.